Then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh, and moreover in time past, even when Saul was king, thou wast he that leddest out and broughtest in Israel. And the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king to Hebron. And David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smiteth the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Joab the son of Zeruiah went first up and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle, therefore they called it the city of David. And he built the city round about, even from Milo round about, and Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom, and with all Israel, to make him king, according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had, Jeshobiam and Hachmonite, the chief of the captains. He lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, and Ahohite, who was one of the three mightiest. He was with David at Pasdamim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where was a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Philistines. And they set themselves in the midst of that parcel, and delivered it, and slew the Philistines. And the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to David, into the cave of Adullam, and the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephaim. And David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed, and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, that is at the gate. And the three brake through the host of the Philistines, and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it, and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord, and said, My God forbid it me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it. Therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mightiest. And Abishai, the brother of Joab, he was chief of the three, for lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them, and had a name among the three. Of the three he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain, howbeit he attained not to the first three. Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kabzeel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. Also he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high, and in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a staff, and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three, and David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were Asahel, the brother of Joab, Elhanan, the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shamoth, the Harorite, Helez, the Pelonite, Ira, the son of Ikesh, the Tekoite, Abiezer, the Antothite, Sibekai, the Hushathite, Ilei, the Ahohite, Maharari, the Netaphathite, Heled, the son of Baana, the Netaphathite, Ithai, the son of Ribiai of Gibeah, that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Benaiah the Parathonite, Huriah of the brooks of Geash, Abiel the Arbathite, Asmabeth the Baharumite, Eliaba the Shaalbonite, the sons of Hashem the Gizonite, Jonathan the son of Shegi the Hararite, Ahiam the son of Sekar the Hararite, Eliphal the son of Ur, Ephel the Mekirathite, Ahijah the Pelonite, Hezro the Carmelite, Nearai the son of Ezbai, Joel the brother of Nathan, Mibhar the son of Hegerai, Zelek the Ammonite, Neharai the Barothite, the armor-bearer of Joab the son of Zeruiah, Ira the Ithrite, Gareb the Ithrite, Uriah the Hittite, Zaba the son of Alai, 
Adinah, the son of Sheza, the Reubenite, a captain of the Reubenites, and thirty with him, Hanan, the son of Meacha, and Josephat, the Mithnite, Uzziah, the Ashtarethite, Shama and Jehiel, the sons of Hothan, the Aroerite, Jediel, the son of Shimri, and Jocha, his brother, the Tizite, Eliel, the Mahavite, and Jerebai, and Josaviah, the sons of Elneam, and Ithma, the Moabite, Eliel, and Obed, and Jeziel, the Mesobite. Chapter 11. Chapter 12. Now these are they that came to David to Ziklag, while he yet kept himself close because of Saul, the son of Kish, and they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows, and could use both the right hand and the left in hurling stones, and shooting arrows out of a bow, even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin. The chief was Ahiezer, then Joash, the sons of Shemeah, the Gibeonite, and Jeziel, and Pelet, the sons of Azmaveth, and Berekah, and Jehu, the Antothite, and Ishmaiah, the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the thirty, and over the thirty, and Jeremiah, and Jehaziel, and Jehonan, and Josabad, the Gederothite, Eluzai, and Jeremoth, and Bealiah, and Shemariah, and Shephatiah, the Harufite, Elkinah, and Josiah, and Azaril, and Joezer, and Jashobiam, the Korhites, and Joelah, and Zebediah, the sons of Jeroham of Gedor. And of the Gadites, these separated themselves unto David into the whole to the wilderness men of might, and men of war fit for the battle that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions, and were as swift as the roes upon the mountains, Azer the first, Obadiah the second, Eliab the third, Mishmanah the fourth, Jeremiah the fifth, Atei the sixth, Eliel the seventh, Johanan the eighth, Elzebah the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Machbenai the eleventh. These were the sons of God, captains of the hosts. One of the least was over an hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month, when it had overflown all his banks, and they put to flight all them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. And there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the hold unto David. And David went out to meet them, and answered, and said unto them, if ye be come peaceably unto me to help me, mine heart shall be knit unto you. But if ye be come to betray me to mine enemies, seeing there is no wrong in mine hands, the God of our fathers, look thereon and rebuke it. Then the Spirit came upon Amasai, who was chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thou son of Jesse, peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to thine helpers, for thy God helpeth thee. Then David received them, and made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasseh to David, when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle. But they helped them not, for the lords of the Philistines upon advisement sent him away, saying, He will fall to his master Saul, to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to Ziklag, there fell to him of Manasseh. Adna, and Josabad, and Jediael, and Michael, and Josabad, and Elahu, and Ziltai, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. And they helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, there came to David to help him, until it was a great host, like the host of God. And these are the numbers of the bands that were ready armed to the war, and came to David to Hebron, to turn the kingdom of Saul to him, according to the word of the Lord. The children of Judah that bear shield and spear were six thousand and eight hundred ready armed to the war. Of the children of Simeon, mighty men of valor for the war, seven thousand and one hundred. Of the children of Levi, four thousand and six hundred. And Jehoiada was the leader of the Aaronites, and with him were three thousand and seven hundred. And Zadok, a young man mighty of valor, and of his father's house twenty and two captains. And of the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Saul, three thousand. For hitherto the greatest part of them had kept the ward of the house of Saul. And of the children of Ephraim, twenty thousand and eight hundred mighty men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. And of the half-tribe of Manasseh, eighteen thousand, which were expressed by name to come and make David king. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Of Zebulun, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, with all instruments of war, fifty thousand, which could keep rank, they were not of double heart. 
and of Naphtali a thousand captains, and with them with shield and spear thirty and seven thousand, and of the Danites expert in war twenty and eight thousand and six hundred, and of Asher such as went forth to battle expert in war forty thousand, and on the other side of Jordan of the Reubenites and the Gadites, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh with all manner of instruments of war for the battle, an hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war that could keep rank came with a perfect heart to Hebron to make David king over all Israel. And all the rest also of Israel were of one heart to make David king. And there they were with David three days eating and drinking, for their brethren had prepared for them. Moreover, they that were nigh them, even unto Issachar and Zebulun and Naphtali, brought bread on asses and on camels and on mules and on oxen and meat, meal, cakes of figs and bunches of raisins and wine and oil and oxen and sheep abundantly, for there was joy in Israel. Chapter 13 And David consulted with the captains of thousands and hundreds and with every leader, and David said unto all the congregation of Israel, If it seem good unto you, and that it be of the Lord our God, let us send abroad unto our brethren everywhere that are left in all the land of Israel, and with them also to the priests and Levites which are in their cities and suburbs, that they may gather themselves unto us. And let us bring again the ark of our God to us, for we inquired not at it in the days of Saul. And all the congregation said that they would do so, for the thing was right in the eyes of all the people. So David gathered all Israel together, from Shihor of Egypt even unto the entering of Hemath, to bring the ark of God from kirjath Jearim. And David went up and all Israel to Beala, that is, to kirjath Jearim, which belonged to Judah, to bring up thence the ark of God the Lord, that dwelleth between the cherubims, whose name is called on it. And they carried the ark of God in a new cart out of the house of Abinadab and Uzzah, and Ahio drave the cart. And David and all Israel played before God with all their might, and with singing, and with harps, and with psalteries, and with timbrels, and with cymbals, and with trumpets. And when they came unto the threshing floor of Shidon, Uzzah put forth his hand to hold the ark, for the oxen stumbled. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and he smote him, because he put his hand to the ark, and there he died before God. And David was displeased, because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzzah, wherefore that place is called Perez Uzzah to this day. And David was afraid of God that day, saying, How shall I bring the ark of God home to me? So David brought not the ark home to himself, to the city of David, but carried it aside into the house of Obed-Edom the Gittite. And the ark of God remained with the family of Obed-Edom in his house three months. And the Lord blessed the house of Obed-Edom and all that he had. Thank you.